there's a big question lingering around about how we run the school system. Should phones and other gaming equipment be allowed? Some people might say, absolutely not. My daughter needs to focus and get straight A's so that she can get an academic scholarship to MIT. Other people might say they have their pros and cons. Well, everybody in high school would say, yes, I need my phone every single hour of every single waking day. So first things first, we all need access to the internet one way or another. To this, a critic might say, you could use an iPad. But here's the thing, our little weak puny generation can't handle carrying around a 50 pound iPad or a 25 pound mini iPad. And who even uses laptops anymore? A phone can fit in your pocket. They even have internet when you're in the middle of nowhere. And if you somehow manage to get lost walking from this building to carpool and end up in the middle of nowhere, you can always use that totally free internet you get in the middle of nowhere to call your parents and tell them that's where you are. Another thing we can do with internet is play Kahoot, an online multiplayer multiple choice game that's ranked with a point system. Everybody likes playing Kahoot, whether they're using it to cram in everything for that biology final the night before, or to have fun with totally 100% school appropriate Kahoots and nicknames. And when the projector you're using to play Kahoot breaks, you can always use that cell phone with that totally free internet to call IP a billion times until they give you simpleton advice and never fix the projector. Now that everyone has played totally 100% school appropriate cahoots all night instead of studying for their biology final, it's a good thing that everyone can use the internet on their phones to access online notes and textbooks. To cram in everything two minutes before the actual test. Online notes are extremely convenient. They allow us to carry around all of our notes and textbooks on a little portable phone. And like I said earlier, our generation is too weak and puny to carry around anything more than a phone. So what makes you think we have the superhuman strength to carry around a notebook, let alone an entire textbook? Another thing that comes with phones is the ability to take good quality pictures of notes the teacher puts on the board. If you take pictures with an iPad, they're too blurry. Writing it down? Are you serious? Nobody does that anymore. Anyway, there is always some Joe Schmo who tries to cheat on his biology final by writing notes down on an index card or something like that. Except this Joe Schmo is smarter and is using the online notes on his phone. Actually, I think he was on Instagram checking what Ariana Grande just posted. Okay, moving on. A lot of people can find class boring, especially if they just haven't gone for their morning run, which by definition is literally our entire generation. One way to burn energy and keep the mind active is by playing puzzle games such as Candy Crush or Angry Birds, or Wordscapes if you need extra nerd points, Khan Academy if you are a big brain. Once that biology final that you forgot about is over, you can, also really, you can also relieve the stress of knowing you failed it by playing actually fun games, such as Minecraft or Pokemon. Not Pokemon Go or Fortnite. Both of those games are dead anyway. There are also some extremely weird people who like listening to music while they work. They claim it helps them focus and think more clearly. But I know a lot of people that would probably end up screaming some swear word and get kicked out of class. As you can see, phones are completely and totally, utterly necessary to academic growth and development. They provide internet access in a small, convenient, portable device that fits in your pocket. Unless you're a woman, because nobody makes women's pants with pockets anymore. Phones also come with online textbooks and notes, as well as study tools such as Kahoot. They also provide 100% school appropriate entertainment, so administration wouldn't have to bother with monitoring phones. <coughs> Lastly, phones provide an extremely safe and fun online environment to learn and have fun. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't you think the speech would take up less space if it was on my phone? <laughs>